Hello, my beautiful friends. It is Miss Fushi, and welcome to a very special video. This will be the first binaural video on the channel involving a binaural setting on my microphone, which I recently discovered. So I thought for today I would show you guys something that's very special to me. In front of me is a box. Well, more of a, I guess, a cylindrical box that contains some very special childhood memories of mine. And I wanted to share them with you guys. Now, based on your feedback in the Indie Box opening video, I decided it would be very nice to try and make some more package sounds and opening sounds and other kinds of sounds, so I'm going to experiment with the some of those today, so please be patient with me as I'm quite new at this, and I really hope you enjoy this experience tonight. So, let's talk about this box here. As you can see, it is decorated with lots of little puppies. They're actually stencils me and my best childhood friend Sammy put on it when we were little. And inside the box is <sighs> lots of wonderful, wonderful goodies, which I'm excited to share with you guys. We've got some wrappers here for some Pokemon packs. And we've got some Pokemon cards. And we've got some other cool things down here at the bottom. That I can't wait to share. So, first things first, let me move this box over here. And I wanted to show you these. When I was a little girl, whenever I got new Pokemon cards, I liked to keep the wrappers. This one is Blastoise. I believe it was from one of my very first packs. I like the crinkling sound that it makes. See? It's from the one of the very first sets, I believe. I think so, because it has Blastoise and doesn't have anything else written on it. See? The next one I have here is a Gyarados. And I think that these are from the second edition, I believe, based on the little two and the Pokeball up there. From that same collection, I also have a Mewtwo in there. And I've got this guy. And I have Raichu. Is anyone else excited for the Alolan Raichu that's coming out in the new games? I know that I am. That design is so cute. And of course, I've got another Mewtwo. Another Raichu. This one's not as pretty. So I'm a little more comfortable making crinkly sounds with it. <laughs> it's a little torn up. Don't you think? <laughs> All right. Now we get into the jungle boosters. We have Scyther. We have Flareon. I always thought it was funny. Flareon always had like a green sort of tint back in the old days. For the longest time, I believe I actually thought Flareon was green in some way. Got our little <laughs> wiggly tuff. Very precious. And another scyther. Those are all of my jungle ones. Alright. I have a lot of gym leader cards, but for some reason I only have a single pack here. So that's the only one I have to show. And then next, these are really cool, the Team Rocket. 
<laughs> I always loved the Team Rocket packs. I was always uh, a little bit on the side of evil. This one actually looks like a complete pack. Look at that. How did I open this, I wonder? Oh, I think my dad opened this one for me as a child. In the bottom, my dad was always really good with opening up cards. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm gonna have to put that one somewhere special. And then, of course, oh, these ones have price stickers. Look. I can crumble them by your ears, too. I hope that's not too loud. It might be. Really cool. Yeah, I still have the prices on these. $3.99 at 7 Eleven. If you can see. <gasps> Very cool. And then Giovanni over here. Beautiful. In my indie box video, you guys had said the camera kept auto focusing and being a little jarring, so I made some changes this time and the autofocus is no longer on. So what that means is that I just kind of have to focus in the best way and leave it at that. But I don't see it jarring or jumping, which is fantastic. So I think it worked. So thanks for that little tip. Alright, so clearly <laughs> there are a lot of Team Rocket cards. I really liked the Jesse and the James packs. I was a big fan of them. And this one still has the little sticker here. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so now we get into the newer ones here. I didn't collect cards uh, much further into the future than this. I guess I just, you know, got older and started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and moving on to other things. So, yeah, this is, this is where we are now. I have a Typhlosion Neo. This is the Neo Genesis. I am a massive fan of Typhlosion. I think that's my favorite starter from this generation. I remember when I was little, my best friend Sammy had a had a Meganium. Am I saying that right? I feel I feel so old. <laughs> But I had Typhlosion, and we always used to joke about our starters having this crazy rivalry together. So, yes, here's our Typhlosion. Got another one as well. Beautiful. And then there's <laughs> this guy here, his rival. <gasps> I love that design. It's so simple, but it's beautiful. And then we have the Neo Destiny with the Toka Tick. Wonderful. And then we have Neo Revelation with Mistrevious. And Mistrevious got a little tore up here. So we're not going to crinkle her too much. We don't want anything more to happen to her and rip her. And then the newest pack that I currently have right here. And Actually, I don't remember when I got this one, but yeah, that's the newest pack. Beautiful. So, these are all of the wrappers that I have. I'm gonna try something. Let me see. Bring my little Pikachu shirt. Does that sound interesting to you? That's kind of cool. It sounds interesting to me. I can hear myself in my headphones. So, those are all of my little packs. Beautiful. 
beautiful. The next thing that I have in this box are some cards here. <laughs> that might have been a little loud. I have some cards that I keep inside of the hard and plastic cases. Now, some of these are rare cards, and some of them are nothing special. I put these in these cases when I was a little girl, and they've just kind of stayed this way. Um, so, there may be a reason, there may not, but I'll go ahead and show them to you one by one. Put them on the side there so it's a little bit of a surprise. So the first one, this was one of my favorite cards was actually given to me by my cousins. One day my cousins decided that they didn't want any more Pokemon cards. So they went to my brother and sister and they gave them all to us and they had some rare ones which I was very happy to take. The first one here is a three star Shining Raichu. Look at that. I didn't know that it was really worth anything until I looked it up uh, earlier today. And it's got three stars down in the corner. It'll probably be a little hard to see unless you're on a really big TV <laughs> because I'm using my webcam, but I keep it in this nice case here to keep it nice and safe. Wonderful. So there's my shining right shoe. Put you right there. My next card, it's I kind of it's like shining right shoe's brother. We have shining me too. Look at that. And this art, I think he looks like a total badass. Look at that. It's so cool. So I also keep him in a hard case to keep him nice and safe. He's worth a little more than the right shoe. <laughs> Perfect. So, the next one I have to show is something I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. And I'm not sure why he's in a yellow protector, but he is. And we have a Mew from the Pokemon movie. If you went and saw it in theaters when you were little, back in the day, you could actually get a card like this. It's completely holographic. It's really pretty. It's labeled with these sort of Egyptian letters here. Look at that. Illuminati over there in the corner. <laughs> but yes, on the back, it has information. So in case you wanted to actually play with this card, you could. I don't know if it was ever regulatory to use this card in the game or not, because it's not a readable card, but I would think it would be okay. It would make sense if it was. So, looks like some, um, some interesting cards made it into this pile over here. I'll put those back. Perfect. The next one that I have here is this Japanese Chansey card here. I put it in this because when I was little, I hadn't had a lot of Japanese cards. And I do admit, I was a little bit of an otaku. And I had this one. And I was really excited about it. The art is very pretty. I've never read it, but maybe I'll look it up online and see what kind of chancy that this is. Because it looks kind of special to me. The next one I have this Misty card here. I always thought Misty was the coolest um, Pokemon trainer in the series back in those days. So when I got this, she definitely was going to go in a hard case because look at how cute she is. I think that's wonderful. I also have a few here. Oh, these are all Japanese too. this guy here. He belongs to Brock. Beautiful. We 
we have this little ditto and he belongs to I'm having a little bit of a, a brain freeze here I wasn't gonna call him <laughs> Toka or Koku <laughs> I don't remember somebody in the comments shamed me for not knowing who he is I know he's the gym leader but I forget his name oh, I need to go back and play a little version again and then of course just kidding, Cinnabar Island. <laughs> Plain was it? Oh my goodness. Nope. Surge is the Surge is the trail captain from the war. This is Blaine. There we go. Beautiful. Don't tell anybody that I didn't know who the gym leaders were in the first generation. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Next we have Clefable here. Beautiful Clefable, and I'm not sure why I put this one in this case. I could have sworn that one of the cards that I had was an error, and I think it may have been her, but I'm not sure. But on the reverse side, look at that. I think this is when um, he first came out, and one of the few times we got to see this Pokemon when the new movie was coming out? I believe so. So definitely he went into the hard case. Next up, if anybody needs a Mew. <laughs> if any of you guys need a Mew card, please let me know. Because <laughs> I have, I have quite a few Mews. These ones have been taken out of the original packaging though, so now they're in these plastic sleeves. But they've been this way for quite a few years. They're so pretty and shiny. I want a shirt with this on it. I know that they exist. I just haven't gotten one. Alright, next up, we have this guy here. I'm not sure if he's very special, but I always thought that he was very, very beautiful. And we also have this Moltres belonging to Blaine there, as well as Team Rocket. Butch and Cassidy, is it right? Very pretty. All right. Zapdos card. I believe I used to use him when I played against my brother and sister, just because I loved his, um, his stats down here and his attacks, because they're very powerful. But I love me some Zapdos. And of course, we have a shiny Japanese Giovanni. I always thought that Giovanni was just so misunderstood. I felt like he had these dreams and these things that he wanted to do, and he had complete bumbling idiots, <laughs> Jesse and James, working under him, and things never seemed to go his way. So I'm a very big fan of Giovanni. I always thought he was so cool when I was little. Alright, next up we have a Misty. With her horsey in Japanese. Not much to that one, but I did like that card. It's Misty, so little girl's gonna put her in the special case. And of course, we have Misty's horsey. No other reason is it in a sealed protecting case other than that it has Misty on it. I think I clearly had an interest. Alright. Getting into Team Rocket. Beautiful, nice and shiny. Ah, oh, Slowbro, he's so cool. I love Slowbro. I like in this card. He just looks so evil, and you can see the Team Rocket member in the background. That's awesome. Oh, and we have Vera belonging to Surge. There's Surge. Now we can see Surge, but he has the Fiero. We have 
and Moltres. Nice and pretty card. And we have a horsey. The horsey that belongs to Misty. And it looks like there's two cards in here. Oh. Make that three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another Misty. Put that back in there. There you go, Misty. And then Misty and Psyduck with Sabrina going into a dark void. And, and then we have a Misty trainer. <laughs> See, I told you guys, it isn't at all based on the cards that are rare. It's more so just kind of based on the cards that I liked as a little girl. But that said, I do think these two reasonably rare. And I did keep them in good shape. They're in two separate cases, plastic and the hard case, just because I didn't want them to get messed up. So, they're kept nice and safe. And very shiny. <laughs> next in here are just a ton of my double cards. Probably not as much as a lot of you guys have because you're further, like, further along than me and probably still collect. But these are all of my doubles here. I also have a bunch of these little sleeves here, too. Beautiful. I'm not sure if these would be interesting to go through. Maybe they would be. Let's see. Weedle, who is a classic favorite of mine. I don't know why. I like Weedle. Another Weedle. Kakuna, his big brother. So there's a few. I 
wonder if that felt interesting at all. I'm not sure. I'm trying to find out what you guys like best. So we have a bunch more cards. energies in here, clearly. <gasps> Do you guys remember this card? The Mankey? The Team Rocket one? I always thought that art was really cool. It was a favorite of mine. I have so many in here. <gasps> oh, you guys, one of my favorites. It's Pikachu. Old school Pikachu. From the, um, from the jungle, I believe. There we go. I love Pikachu so much. One of my favorites. I'm doing a little peek through to see if there's anything else very interesting in here. some things in here that are not quite Pokemon related. They're kind of funny. I have this Yu-Gi-Oh piece here. A little, one of those little holograms. <laughs> I've got this one with Seto Kaiba. This one here. And this one. Joey. I always liked Joey. However weird that he was. Oh, that makes a funny noise. Listen to this. It always, it, it almost sounds like something speaking in your ear. is indented and plastic. Sorry for anyone who doesn't like that sound. <laughs> and I also have, this might be a little embarrassing, but I do have some silly stuff in here. I also have some Neopet cards. <laughs> Bet you didn't think you'd be seeing these. And a Pokemon unboxing. <gasps> There's a Mega Man card. 
crushing on that because it's just the new pets pack. And we also have an Emperor's New Groove puzzle from a cereal box for the distinguished collector of the Emperor's New Groove merchandise. <laughs> and you can pop them out. And you have pieces that you can put back together. Him back in here if I can get it. This really old puzzle. <laughs> I remember when that movie first came out. It was very enjoyable for me. I thought it was really funny. But oh, there we go. The puzzle changed. Beautiful. <laughs> so those are all of my the interesting sounds that they make. Oh, this Charmander. So cute. <laughs> I've got all of my special cards. And then we have all of my packs. Something else I have that I can show you guys in another video if you're interested is this. It's my very old school overgrowth theme deck. If you guys like, in another video I can show you this. I think I'd like to do that. If you're interested. And also... I have this very old, and it's very dusty. to make their way out, but I have my Pokemon book that I kept all my cards in order in, and I'd be willing to show you guys this as well. I don't have a complete collection or anything spectacular, but at the end of this book, there's also some cards that I made myself when I was little. So, if you want to see some embarrassing goodness in the future, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of some of my memories here in this box. If you did like it, please do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, definitely subscribe and Leave a comment down below, everyone. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you'd like to hear more of. You know, every time that you guys watch a video and you leave me these suggestions in the comments, it, it really helps me to know and to tailor these videos to something that you guys enjoy. Because I make these for my own enjoyment, but also to share with you 
all of my little friends out there. So, yes, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.